Hello, good morning everybody, uh, all the teachers uh, all around the country who are uh, listening to me. Uh, first of all, I am uh, thankful to Professor Gayatunde, who has uh, given this opportunity to talk about the course uh, that will be uh, done in December uh, this year. And the idea of uh, this half an hour interaction that uh, I would like to have with you is uh, just to give a little bit of idea about the course. Uh, so, this course, uh, the, the title of this course is uh, Solar Photovoltaics Fundamentals, Technologies and Applications. Uh, and I will tell you a little bit about that in detail. This will run uh, from 12th to 22nd December this year. And this course is jointly sponsored by Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, uh, National Mission on Education through ICT, uh, National Center for Photovoltaic Research and Education. So, as I said, I will give you a brief idea about uh, this course itself and why we are doing this course and what is the need of this course. So, the first question is why a course on solar photovoltaics? Uh, solar photovoltaic courses are not so common uh, in the institutes and university. Uh, but uh, there is a strong need of uh, manpower in this area uh, as it is failed by the ministry, as it is failed by IIT Bombay. And uh, as a result of this, uh, we are doing a lot of training programs on solar photovoltaics. Uh, and therefore, there will there, be a need of uh, such course. Uh, so, just this you are, uh, would already be knowing, but uh, uh, for example, limitation of conventional energy sources can you know broadly put into three categories. Uh, one is that the, uh, the source is uh, available in limited quantities, for example, coal and petrol and, and gas. And therefore, uh, there, is a, there is a need to find alternative sources to fulfill our energy requirement. And this has been the trend uh, all over the world that people are trying to find out alternatives for our, uh, to replace our conventional energy uh, sources uh, from non-conventional energy sources and solar energy is of course one of them. So, the first limitation is the limited availability and we know that uh, coal and other fuels are not going to last forever. Second is environmental pollution. So, we know that uh, the use of fossil fuels like coal and uh, oil and gas results in the emission of greenhouse gases, which uh, eventually results in uh, what we know, what we know it is now it is a climate change. And therefore, it is important to avoid use of uh, uh, those kind of fossil fuel based sources. And the third important aspect of uh, conventional energy sources uh, is energy security. Uh, we know that uh, these fuels are not uniformly available all over the world. So, we know oil for example, petrol is not easily uh, not available in our country and we import almost 85 percent of the fuel and which can be uh, uh, which which is not sta which may not provide stability and security in terms of the energy source itself and we know that without the usage of these fuels we cannot survive for long. Therefore, considering the limited availability environmental pollution and energy security uh, gov all governments all around the world feels that uh, uh, we have to find alternative sources and solar energy is one solution. <coughs> uh, so, there are huge efforts uh, that are being put worldwide uh, on renewable energy sources uh, to find appropriate solution uh, for, uh, for our energy requirement and India is no exception. So, our Indian government is also putting lot of efforts to make uh, uh, this uh, possible. Uh, so, for example, one such uh, program of uh, government of India is uh, what is called Jawaharlal Nehru national solar mission uh, J N N S M in, in brief it is called. So, this program was launched in uh, uh, January uh, last year uh, and it has uh, targets it is a very high target. So, for example, it uh, by the end of the program which is ending uh, in 2022, uh, the government of India is planning to install 20,000 megawatts of solar power. And this solar power will be of course, done in a various phases. For example, phase 1 is ending in 2013, where we have uh, we will have 1000 megawatt, phase 2 is ending in 2017, where we will have 4000 megawatts and eventually 20000 megawatt. So, this is the scheme of the central government, but there are many state governments uh, uh, including Gujarat, Maharashtra, uh, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh and several other states are having their own policies. Uh, to promote solar energy in their states. 
uh, and uh, Gujarat is for example, one of the leading uh, state where uh, the 500 megawatt uh, is shown in slide is little old number, but now they are targeting 700 megawatts of uh, solar power in the state uh, by 2014. So, what you can see uh, here is not only in the world, but in India also there are uh, large uh, uh, activities that is happening uh, to install solar power and this uh, installation capacities are in huge number. Uh, now, uh, so the government is promoting uh, this technology, but there are several uh, things required to promote a given technology. For example, uh, should there be a kind of efforts to have the promotion of the manufacturing of the technology uh, and we know that solar energy is expensive. So, should the government buy the electricity at the higher cost uh, and this scheme is known as feed in tariff, should all the state government be also opting for the solar energy. So, there is a, uh, there is a renewable energy purchase obligation uh, should uh, so what kind of applications uh, this solar energy technology should be used and what scale it should be used. So, there are lot of efforts uh, that are going under the national uh, solar mission and one such effort which is highlighted in green here is about training of a manpower. And uh, if you consider the scale of uh, the installation that will happen in the country, uh, the manpower requirement uh, the government estimates is about 100,000 people uh, in very near term. Now, we know that this 100,000 people are not available and therefore, we need to train, uh, but at IIT Bombay our personal calculation shows that uh, it is not only 100,000 people, but we need something like 300,000 people in solar energy and therefore, training must be done immediately uh, in this particular uh, area, because uh, without that. Uh, the technology promotion uh, in the country will get hindered. So, as a part of the national solar mission, uh, government of India is also uh, established a center uh, called national center for photovoltaic research and education at IIT Bombay. Uh, this center was established in uh, October 2010 and as you can see from this chart, the, the objectives of the center is one of the major objective of the center is to impart education on solar energy, solar photovoltaics particularly but also to, uh, to conduct research, state of the art research and lead Indian PV industry. And this research we are uh, go, uh, doing in silicon solar cells, we are doing research on new materials and devices, PV modules, systems, product design, technology evaluation, uh, power electronics. So, almost everything that touches the solar photovoltaic. So, uh, uh, and there are a large number of faculty members involved at IIT Bombay who are doing research on various subjects under solar photovoltaics. And of course, research modeling and simulation is, is important part. So, as you can see from this, the National Center for Photovoltaic Research and Education at IIT Bombay is having a strong thirst both on education as well as on research. So, what I am talking to you today is particularly about the education part. Uh, so, at uh, in terms of education and training on solar photovoltaic at IIT Bombay, we are doing uh, several activities. Uh, one activities of course, which is part of uh, our mandate is to run courses for our PhD students, MTEC students, BTEC students, MSc students and uh, in a minor program for undergraduate level. So, we are, off, uh, we are running a few courses uh, which actually deals with the photovoltaics. We are also preparing the course material uh, uh, for other colleges. For example, many of our courses are being recorded in the form of video uh, and these courses will also be available uh, to you in the form of web. Uh, uh, so, not so that you know people or teachers from other engineering college where the resource person will not be available or may not be available can access these courses. Uh, and actually uh, learn from these courses and use this material for a teaching material for their own students. Not only the course materials, but we are also preparing a laboratory kit. So, uh, many times when you uh, when you uh, conduct this kind of training programs uh, or the courses in engineering colleges across the country, uh, you, kn you do not get the facility to carry out the experiments and uh, just to take care of that, we are also developing uh, 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 laboratory kits, which we are going to give it to the various centers, uh, where people uh, uh, are the participant can also do the experiment, the real uh, real experiment on solar energy. 
So, this is uh, under the preparation of the course material, we are also doing distance education. So, uh, as I said the training on the web and satellite based, uh, uh, we are also planning with not done it so far, but uh, we may come up with the post graduate diploma for working professionals in solar energy. Uh, in terms of the training for the industry, we are uh, conducting short term training programs, which may be like 3 days program, 5 day program or 2 days program. Uh, targeting on one particular areas, for example, it may be on a basics on, on solar cells, it may be on uh, grid connected photovoltaic systems, it may be on power electronics for solar photovoltaics and things like that. Several of these programs are announced in on, on our website, let me give the details of the website uh, and many of these uh, videos are already available on the website. So, the website is, uh, so the website is uh, so www dot n c p r e that is national center for research and education uh, national center for photovoltaic research and education n c p r e dot uh, i i t b dot a c dot n so uh, once you go to this web page you will find lot of information uh, uh, about the training programs that is happening about the research uh, 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 that is happening uh, uh, in the uh, at iit bombay and so on Okay, so, these are the, the various activities that uh, we are doing at IIT Bombay in terms of the training uh, and education of, of photovoltaics. Uh, now, this particular course uh, which uh, we are planning in December, uh, which is a 12 day course uh, including two holidays. So, it is 10 day course and as I said it will start from 12th of December till 22nd of December and the title of the course is uh, Solar Photovoltaics Fundamentals, Technologies and Applications. As you can see from the title. Uh, this course will be kind of introductory course on solar photovoltaics, which will cover uh, not only the fundamentals uh, basics, but also the technologies and eventually the applications of solar photovoltaics. Uh, as you can quickly see here from this, uh, we have divided this course in two parts. Uh, uh, so, first part is on PV technologies and fundamentals, which will be about 20 hours of lectures and the part two is about application of solar photovoltaics, which is which will take another 20 hours. So, Altogether, it will be one full course of 40 hours. In the first part, uh, we will mainly uh, talk about the fundamentals including the, the semiconductor physics, p n junction, solar cell design of solar cells, materials for solar cell technology, fabrication uh, of solar cells uh, and modules uh, and effect of temperature and radiations. And these are the very important uh, kind of information that any uh, engineer or any teacher must know about the solar cell. And in the second part, we uh, will more talk about the applications, which will include uh, uh, power electronics devices for solar PV applications, grid connected and off grid PV systems, charge controllers, DC to DC converter, inverters, maximum power point tracking, uh, uh, estimation of solar radiation at a given location uh, and the design of the uh, off grid and grid connected system and uh, we will also touch upon the life cycle costing of the PV systems. So, this will be the overall content and it will be a good uh, introductory material uh, covering all aspects of, uh, of uh, uh, solar photovoltaic technologies. So, this course will be taught by two faculty members, uh, Professor B. G. Fernandez. Uh, professor B. G. Fernandez is a professor uh, in the Department of Electrical Engineering at IIT Bombay. Uh, you, can, uh, you can have a look at uh, his profile and, and this is the email ID for his contact and I will also be uh, uh, myself Chetan Singh Solanki. So, I am from Department of Energy Science and Engineering at IIT Bombay and you can look at my profile at this, uh, at this particular website. Uh, so, this, uh, so the V2 will be covering uh, the, the various aspect of the course uh, that I have just shown you. The book for reference uh, for this course will be uh, this, uh, Solar Photovoltaic Fundamentals Technology and Applications uh, published by Printice Hall of India in 2009. Uh, second edition is coming in, uh, will come in, in about couple of weeks time 2011. So, this uh, book will be given uh, to all the participant as a reference book. Uh, other than this book, uh, uh, you will also use some other material uh, which uh, uh, materials which is not part of this book. So, uh, this book as well as some other material will be used uh, as a reference material for this course and this book will be given to all participants. Uh, to conduct this uh, course, uh, what we will be going to do, which is uh, for example, we will include lectures, tutorials and experiments. So, lectures will be done as, uh, as being done for this particular course, which you are attending right now. 
So, we will have uh, we, we will try to give the lecture designs in advance uh, to all the participants. So, for example, what will be the content of a particular lecture, what you are going to learn from particular lecture, uh, uh, what are the problems uh, uh, that may you know be part of a given lecture. So, that will be given to the participants in advance. We will also design tutorials and give it to the local coordinators. Uh, so, there will be a design problems uh, and the tutorials that will be organized locally. But uh, most importantly as I told earlier that uh, many times when you offer these courses uh, the, the experiments part are, are missing. In this particular case what we are, what we are doing right now is designing a laboratory uh, which will have about 8 to 10 experiments on solar photovoltaics. We will kind of prefabricate this laboratories at IIT Bombay and uh, then we distribute these laboratories to the various remote centers and therefore, uh, the participants of this course on solar photovoltaic will actually get the, uh, the opportunities to have the first hand uh, opportunities to conduct the experiment on solar photovoltaics. And I hope this will be interesting uh, part of this course. So, uh, so as I said there will be 8 to 10 uh, uh, experiment that you will be able to do on this uh, on this laboratory. So, it will con the laboratory will actually consist of uh, hardware like solar photovoltaic modules, solar cells, uh, where you can do the characterization of cells and modules. Uh, it will also have the kind of quantum efficiency characterization, uh, maximum power point uh, finding, but there will be also few uh, uh, experiments uh, on the simulation. So, you can one can characterize uh, or simulate a solar cell, one can simulate a module and one experiment on the system analysis as such. So, uh, let us see how it goes, but we feel that it will be interesting part of it. So, the registration for this course uh, starts from 15th uh, July, uh, that is the next month and uh, you can for the registration you can visit this website uh, which you already done uh, for this particular course. So, eclavia, so http slash eclavia dot it dot iitb dot ac dot in. Uh, the list of remote centers uh, are listed here. I, I can actually give this presentation send around to the, the existing participant so that you can actually have a look at it. So, there are various uh, uh, remote centers uh, that will uh, conduct this uh, training program, uh, teachers training program on solar photovoltaics and uh, these are the list of remote centers. So, several NITs are there and it actually covers uh, the whole country. So, you can see uh, almost all states are represented here, so Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Gujarat, Karnataka, uh, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu. West Bengal, uh, Gujarat, uh, so almost all the states are, are part of it. Um, so, you can actually go and, uh, and make the registration from 15 July onwards. So, thank you for your attention and the basic information on this course uh, and if there are any questions uh, you have, uh, so I am willing to answer those questions. So, some information is already available on that uh, web page eclavia.it.iitb.ac.in. So, once you go there you will find uh, uh, this information uh, about uh, the PV course. So, if there is any co questions right now please, uh, please ask. College of Engineering Pune, uh, do you have any question for Professor Solanki? Over to you. Eligible to attend this uh, course, sir. Okay, so uh, so basically, uh, it's difficult to fix the criteria for eligibility. But uh, normally, faculty members from uh, uh, electrical engineering, uh, physics department, electronics engineering, uh, many times people from mechanical engineering also do the research on on solar area. Uh, so as such, there is uh, no fixed uh, kind of criteria depending on the college and sometimes uh, the solar energy research or people work in the various department including as I said physics, uh, mechanical, electrical, electronics, uh, sometimes chemical also. Uh, so, it is open to uh, uh, teachers from many branches. Uh, hello sir, can research assistants, PG students, teaching assistants can uh, register for this course? So, I guess uh, uh, I, I guess no right now, uh, but uh, we will discuss uh, internally and uh, we will announce it on our web page. But this uh, this is mainly targeted uh, 
mainly targeted for the teachers. Uh, but uh, what I know that if there are uh, enough infrastructure and if uh, there is enough capacity at a given remote center that it does not affect the for example, setting of a teacher, uh, then I guess uh, uh, it may be uh, it may be okay for the research scholars and PhD student to attend this. So, it may depend on the kind of uh, kind of uh, resources and the facilities uh, that a, a remote center is having but we may we must give priority to the teachers particularly thank you sir over and out kk wag nashik uh, professor solanki is here do you have any questions to him over to you hello sir uh, this is satish suryanshi from nashik kk wag nashik sir uh, in your remote center there is no uh, place from Nas place like nashik so will it be available in nashik also so earlier uh, we had a workshop of uh, the the people uh, coordinators from remote center uh, but if there is a if there is a infrastructure available and if uh, there is interest uh, uh, among people around and because you are already doing uh, uh, you are already acting as a remote uh, coordinator for this course so i guess if uh, uh, either if you are willing and there are people uh, you may be uh, acting, uh, you may be you know, approaching us and we may uh, allow uh, Nasik also to be one of the remote center. Hello, uh, so uh, my colleague uh, Professor B. G. Fernandez, uh, who will be teaching you the part of the solar photovoltaic uh, course, uh, is uh, here with me. Uh, he would like to just say hello to you and uh, maybe share some thoughts. Hello, good afternoon. Fernandez from the Department of Electrical Engineering. Uh, I will be covering the aspects of power electronics, the balance of systems, power electronic interfaces that are required to process the solar power either to use directly or to connect it to the grid. Uh, 